Hello, and welcome to another episode of MetaHacks, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about measuring in Matterport. We've done a MetaHacks video before on measuring, specifically the double-click measuring tool, where you can double-click on a wall or on a floor, and it will snap a measurement to the opposite wall to quickly get wall measurements or ceiling measurements. But there is actually a big announcement coming from Matterport as to a completely new measurement tool, and they refer to it as measurement mode. Um, historically, the only way that you could measure in a Matterport scan was actually logging in and having edit access. So you'd have to hit the edit button and then go to the measurement tool, and that's when you'd be able to measure. Well, Matterport's going to make it possible that people can review and measure on the front end of scans. So, for example, as a contractor, if you send a Matterport scan to an adjuster, you will be able to, or the adjuster will be able to actually measure in the front end. They will not need back end access. And what's nice is that the scan owner will actually be able to turn on or turn off the ability for front end measuring. Let's take a look at what this looks like because there's a huge overhaul on the entire UI as to what this measurement tool looks like. So I'm gonna bring up this, uh, this animation here that Matterport sent me as an example. Uh, first and foremost, you're gonna see in the bottom left, there's this measuring tool and, and you can hit right here, measure it. And then you have the plus button and you can start measuring on the front end. This is not back-end, logged-in access. This is just somebody sent the scan uh, to somebody else and they can do these measurements on the front end. Uh, you'll notice a big change in the color scheme. Historically, the measuring tool has been yellow. Now there is a uh, red and blue crosshair with a green pointer showing you exactly the area that you're measuring, as well as you'll notice that it kind of snaps to uh, the corner of this available 3D data. And on top of that, there's this new zoom-in feature. So it actually zooms in on what you are looking at. So whatever questions you had about accuracy and measurements or how do I get to this corner of this table or desk really accurately, they've actually updated this measurement tool to make it easier and more accurate for you to get the measurements that you need in the claim settlement process. Let's actually take a look at an example scan. This is a Pro 2 scan uh, and you'll see here, this is the front end, nobody's logged in. Uh, this is the front end, somebody sent me a Pro 2 scan with this measurement modes uh, available. And so I have down here in the bottom left some familiar features, the view dollhouse, the view floor plan, the floor selector, that's always been there. Uh, but now we have a measurements tool on the front end, the part of this measurement mode. And so I'm gonna hit the plus button here to start a measurement. And you'll see that I can come up here, let's actually let's start down here at this part of the table down here. And we'll come up here and I'll be able to get the point of, that I want and then come across and be able to get that here and then come back down, snapping to this corner here, boom. So this is giving me an opportunity to quickly get the measurements I need in the front end. Um, this is uh, incredibly useful. Uh, you'll note that if I hit escape here and I get out of the measurements tool and I come back into it, my measurements are still there and I can come over here and I can take more measurements. That's a nice two foot microwave there, how nice. Um, if I were to refresh this page and I start up the measurements tool again, you'll note that the measurements go away. So for a front end user, I'll come over here to where we were, uh, come into my measurements tool and you'll see no more measurements. So as a front end user, while you have that scan open, you'll be able to take all the measurements you want and take a look at it. And then when you get out of that scan, those front end measurements will go away. Um, this is not the only example, uh, only thing that's possible with this new measurement mode. Um, not only can you turn off the, the front end measuring mode, right? So you would allow a contractor or adjuster, reviewer, whoever you're sending this to, to be able to measure measurements. You have the ability to turn this on and off. You can actually also show the measurements that you've taken in the back end yourself. So let me hop over uh, to another animation here. It gives you an example of what this looks like. So all the measurements that you've taken in the back end, you can turn on or off when somebody goes into this measuring tool. So you'll note that someone's in a scan here all these measurements they've made on this back wall by this fireplace were done with the edit tool in the back end. And when the reviewer went to go click the measuring button on the front end, all the measurements he took in the back end have shown up. So whatever impasse you've had in the past about sketch accuracy or how did you get this measurement or I got something different, it's all overcome by events thanks to this new measurement mode and an updated UI overhaul by Matterport. That's incredible. This is part of why we're big fans of Matterport and our training and support partner is that they listen and they continue to build out features uh, for the property insurance ecosystem to be able to settle claims uh, more swiftly. 
And so uh, let me give you, let me jump into uh, our Matterport account here to a specific example. And you'll be able to see I have a house demonstration scan here. I'm gonna go to edit. Down here in the bottom right, I got my settings feature. And if I jump over to advanced, you'll see down here measurements. This is new. Visitors can go into a measurement mode and create their own temporary measurements. So I can turn that on. And now I have the ability to turn on or off. Visitors can see the measurements you created and published. So not only can I provide anyone that has access to a scan that I've sent them the ability to measure on their side without needing to give them collaborator access on the back end, I can also show them the measurements that I've taken in the back end uh, whenever they access that measurement tool. So um, this is big. This is a, a big announcement. Uh, I would expect uh, this to come and to hit. This new measurement mode will be available like early to mid-December, so we're not that far away. Um, but I wanted to get out ahead of it and let you guys know that this is coming and this is exciting, this new measurement mode, thanks to Matterport. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next Matterhack.